you so much. Have a great day. You too. I thought you brought, I thought you brought donuts. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that was double bag. Maybe we put it back in that other bag. Yeah. Actually, it looks all right. Okay. <laughs> Be careful with that bag, it might slip. Be careful with that one. Good, See you how are you? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, two dollars. Gracias. De nada. Okay. Do you have anything in here? Yeah, I do. I'll take that out too. Alright. Alright. Gotta stack them, yeah? Yeah. Ten? Okay, we'll get the mic box. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Harrison, uh, to be here in New York during the holiday season, um, to, to, to contribute to the Yankees food drive, you just tell us what that makes you feel like is to interact with the fans and to really, you know, lend a helping hand. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a local kid born and raised, so to be back, obviously, playing, engaging with the fans and that, in that way is incredible. But even, you know, when we're not on the field, um, any way I can be accessible to the Yankees and everybody that, um, you know, they and their reach, um, I'm just very happy to be here. Food drive is a win-win for everybody involved, so... Uh, it's a great day in the Bronx, it's a great event, and I'm happy to be here. Uh, for every, you know, this is an event that's been going on for years, for every certain amount of food that the fans get tickets to the game. So you see, it's kind of, they give back and the Yankees give back to them. That's a cool dynamic, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's the win-win aspect, I think. You know, uh, you know food drives are, are, are immensely important for, for people in need, um, and people who don't have access to food. So uh, with the Yankees' reach, bring a lot of food and then you get tickets back. So. Um, the more fans are putting the seats, cheering us on, the better. And you can kind of get the, the flip side of that. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful cause. Have good year. What about the uniqueness of the Yankee fan? Like you said, you're a local guy. You know how the New York, my New Yorkers are. They're gritty. They're tough. Can you talk about just kind of mingling and interacting just in the short time that you've been with the Yankees when you just walk down the street or whatever? Yeah, absolutely. You know, they, as much as they might be ferocious in season, uh, you know, they, uh, it's nice to see that the other side where they're donating, you know, pounds and pounds of food. Um, you know, Immaculate Conception down the street came with over 600, 750 pounds of food. Um, they said that they've given over, you know, thousands of food, uh, pounds in the past. So just to kind of hear, you know, as much as we might be ferocious for wins, we also have a side that uh, gives back to the community. That's really what, what New York is about. So uh, the interaction has been great, and I just, I'm excited for it uh, to be the same way moving forward. And like you, you mentioned at the beginning, to entrench yourself in the New York community, something that's easy for you because you've been here. Uh, how cool is that as a player that grew up here and that now can get back here? Yeah, listen, you know, it's wonderful for me. It really is very cool. But I, I like to think that it's even cooler for the kids and the younger kids. Um, I think it's very, very important. I had my own respective idols growing up, whether they be, you know, my, my parents in my household or, or players around the league. Um, I just want to be accessible to young kids if they have any questions, whether it's a form of an Instagram message or maybe a, a local camp. 
Um, I just want to be accessible, just to let kids know that there's absolutely a path out of New York City to play baseball in, in any level, if that's your dream. And um, having somebody uh, as accessible and maybe to look up to for, for questions or anything um, is something that I've always wanted to do. So I've always you know, tried to do that in the past. Location has made it a little difficult, but now um, you know, it's a lot easier. Um, so I'm just looking forward to taking advantage of that the best I can um, and as often as I can. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing it all play out. And the last thing is, what, what are the holidays, what do they mean to you, especially being in New York City, because it's the best place to be during the holidays. Um, it's, a, it's a magical place, right? It is magical. I do, I do love seeing the lights come out. Uh, people put a lot of time and effort into you know, dressing up buildings, dressing up townhouses, decorating. Uh, there's just a different feel. Obviously, the, the tree is up now, so it's just a great feel. Uh, it's very wholesome. And you know, when I think of the holidays, I think of my family. Um, you know, life life moves very quickly. There's a lot of things. The schedules get you know really packed. So the holidays are a really nice time to slow it all down, be with family, and just enjoy everything that we have in life. Um, so yeah, I'm just again, I'm excited to be home and, and experience that. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Yes. You know how much I hate this. I know you do. All right. So you're gonna put you on the spot, right? Twenty-eight years um, of doing this. I remember that you always talk about. You know, we started the old stadium with just like a couple of cans and all that and then what it's grown into. Um, talk about this particular event and what Crasdale has done, you know, to kick it off as well. I think the most exciting thing about the 2022 Holiday Food Drive is the incredible support we receive from our corporate partners. Crasdale, Bravo, and Seatown. We kicked off today's event with a donation of over 99,000 pounds of food, feeling it could even reach thousand pounds. That's 50 tons of food from our partners that will help fight food insecurity right in our own Bronx neighborhood. They have exceeded any donation they've given us in the past. They're very proud to partner with the Yankees on this event because it truly makes a difference in the lives of our Bronx neighbors. And talk about, you know, the faces. I know we know about Sister Patrice and her school, which is right down the street, that have come over the years, and there's so many faces that you've learned. And we've, we really haven't had this event in person for a couple of years now, so to have it back, number one, in person, what's that like? And two, I know you also have an online initiative as well that, that, that happened before this, right? Well, due to the COVID pandemic, the holiday food drive in person was suspended for two years. So we did create a virtual food drive in partnership with BAM. And that concluded yesterday, and that raised $22,000 in cash donations that will support buying extra food that's needed to fill our gift boxes. We, again, this is the return of our in-person holiday food drive. And just since we opened the doors this morning, we have seen people, familiar faces, that have supported this event for 28 years. It's an annual occurrence. A local school collects food from their student body. They receive enough ticket vouchers to bring all of their students to a game. People come year after year excited to get their ticket vouchers. And then this morning with the breaking news, Aaron Judge will be a Yankee for the rest of his career. That's inspired more people to turn up today because of excitement in receiving two ticket vouchers makes them look forward to 2023. This event was designed for all Yankee fans to come together. Nobody knows where to go or what to do, but they want to make a holiday donation. By hosting a food drive, Yankee fans have a place to go. They know what they need to donate, and we're so appreciative of their support. We're happy to give them vouchers to the game next season. What's the amount of pounds of food they bring to get a voucher? Can you? Can you... 30 pounds of food, or if you work in the neighborhood and forgot to go grocery shopping, $30 cash donation will give you two ticket vouchers to a game next season. And then you had Harrison Bader here, who is a local, uh, a local player. You got a chance to meet him a little bit more and speak with his family. Um, he was genuine here, and he was really, really willing to help. Harrison Bader joined us today. When asked if he would participate, he's local. He works out in the stadium every day, and he was thrilled. He got to meet quite a few of our fans, as well as Yankee staff, now that he's signed with the Yankees. 
for the future. He needs to know how to navigate through all these different departments that were represented with volunteers at today's event. Harrison came across as someone with a very genuine commitment to philanthropy. He works with numerous organizations, and we've actually are going to partner with him on one and donate out some items to their holiday party. So what grew out of Harrison's participation today was once again extending the reach to better the lives of people right in our own community. Not just through the Yankees, not just through community relations, but Harrison's presence will extend that to other organizations we were not aware of. So it's been a win-win for everybody today. Awesome. That's great. Uh, I'm Roland George. All right, so I'll, I'll, just for camera purposes, spell your name and just tell us your title. Uh, Christopher Guzman, uh, C-H-R-I-S-T-O-P-H-E-R-G-U-Z-M-A-N. Um, I'm the advertising director at Crasdale Foods. So Christopher, can you just talk a little bit about this event in particular and partnering with the Yankees and what Crasdale has done on, on this day, I guess, to help with this food drive? Right, so for us, you know, par uh, partnering with the Yankees, you know, us being in the Bronx, the Yankees being from the Bronx, uh, helping out the community is very important to us. I mean, it's our family, you know, the, the stories that we support and are part of our banners. Uh, are, are, a lot of them are in the Bronx, so it's, it's a big deal for us to help them, and we're, we're uh, very grateful to be able to be a part of the, the program. Um, this year, we gave over 99.6 thousand uh, pounds of food, which is almost 50, 50 tons of food. I think that a lot of people don't look at that number and think it's a lot, but with all, everything going on in the city and the, the people worrying about food for the holidays, I mean, it's a huge help for, for it's a huge thing for us to be able to help and team up with the Yankees uh, another year to be able to do it. And this is a long-standing partnership you guys have with the Yankees. You assist on the, on the turkey voucher right. and you also do this event as well. Um, your focus is the Bronx, so is the Yankees. So how is that marriage kind of meshed together? You both have a care for the people right in this community. Well, it's a, it's a great match for us. Like I said earlier, I mean, for us to be able to participate with the vouchers, we give over, I think, over 8,000 vouchers to the community uh, for them to go able to be able to shop at our stores. So partnering year in and another year with the, with the Yankees um, is something that we look forward to continue for us forever. Um, Presto is a 100-year-old company, and, and for us to be able to partner and continue that, we look to do it for another 100 years and be able to help the community, our, our community that we serve, um, and, and we're grateful to be able to do that. And, and it's a heavy Bronx here, like you said, most of these, a lot of these stores are in the Bronx, right? Right. Uh, a lot of our stores are in the Bronx. When the vouchers go out, I mean, almost in hours, maybe maybe in an hour. The, 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 so you see, we see the need on our end, and that's why we are so uh, focused on being able to, to participate and every year try to increase what we do. Like this year, we increased the donation for how many pounds we do by almost, I think, 40 40,000 40, pounds, I think it was, that we, that we increased. And just because we see the need, the vouchers, every year we try to increase what we give towards our end, towards the vouchers, in partnership with the Yankees and our, and our stores. So um, we see the need. I mean, in the Bronx, like I said, those vouchers go out, and the same day we're seeing people use them in the stores. So you see that you see that people need it, and they're grateful for it. You know, our store owners and the people that are in the stores, they t they call us and they tell us, hey, we, we're getting the, people are so grateful for us giving these vouchers up. So we appreciate the Yankees for letting us be a part of that, part of this program. And again, we look forward to doing it for many, many more years. And the last thing, just the fans, and, and you see people coming and donating, just adding to what you guys have already donated. Uh, how joyous could this could make a holiday for people right here in the Bronx? Right, for people in the Bronx, I mean, when you walk out there, when we're giving out the vouchers and you walk out, everyone is telling you thank you. They see you. They they they, they want to even give you a hug and smile. I mean, it, it's 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 amazing to be able to be a part of it, and the, the we're grateful f for that experience, right? Because during the holidays we're donating so much stuff, especially in the Bronx, and being able to see the actual people come in and donate and participate. Also, like today, people take an active role in helping the community, like we are. I mean. There's no words to be able to describe that during the holidays, right? I mean, it just, it's amazing to be able to be a part of it.
Beautiful, man. That was good. Y que lo que papá Mr. Manjao desde el agua activo con la máquina deportiva, mi hermano personal, la gente dura, la máquina deportiva. ¿Eh?